everybody. In today's YouTube video, we're gonna discuss is the difference between the rotational shot and the discus. Couple simple things you can apply today that are gonna help you make that better transition when you go from one to the other or vice versa so you don't get your rhythms confused and you throw farther. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Merite Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, one of the things we're gonna be talking about is rotational shot versus discus. Recently, I had a video analysis submitted, and I thought this was gonna be a really good YouTube video, and a real simple check, and a video that I'm gonna to give to all my online members as well, when we talk about the difference between the shot and the discus. The discus, the implement is a way, everything's taller and longer, and we're gonna be kind of more in this position when we throw. In the rotational shot, we're, we're bent a little bit more, the knees are still forward, but what I talk about is one key critical difference. So many young discus throwers or shot putters, if they've been throwing the discus, they'll start rotational shot and they're logically gonna start throwing the rotational shot like the discus. If they are shot putter and then they are starting to do the discus, then they start to get into the discus and they're doing motions and movement very much like the shot. Neither one will cross over very well. Sometimes you can get away with certain things, but one is typically going to be limited or both. So a real simple thing and a distinction that we wanna clear up for a a lot of our rotational shot putters is that when you start throwing, remember, the shoulders tend to stay over the knees. And one of the things we've talked about for years is as we get down, we're more squatted. And you're gonna notice when I show you kind of that more squatted position, my knees are still forward, but I, and I'm avoiding this. We're not squatting like this and we're not gonna be out here where the legs are straight because if I do that and I do this, I'm not gonna be able to get around that axis. So if you look at some throwers right now that are throwing where you see more of this type of a motion, that's what you're gonna notice is really paramount to helping a lot of throwers throw far. Now, there's a window. One of the things we talk about in the throwing chain reaction system is that all throws and positions have windows. That means there's a slice where you move through. So you can have an angle that's forward, you can have an angle that's too far backward. We don't wanna to be too far backward, we don't wanna to be too far forward. You're gonna notice when I show you too far forward, what did I change my knees? Too far backwards? Well, my knees are in a good spot, but my shoulders aren't gonna be able to come around the axis. So when I'm here and I'm in the shot and I'm too upright, I'm gonna cut inside. And so what we wanna do is we're gonna see the chest and we're gonna see the arm coming around and you're gonna see how everything's gonna be moving this way around the axis. Shoulders are a little bit more forward and on top of the toes and I'm creating rotation this way. What we're going to see is we're going to see that we're gonna be able to get around that axis a whole lot easier. So this is a super quick, simple tip. How do you make a clear distinction between rotational shot and discus? We wanna see in the rotational shot, we wanna see our chest a little bit more forward and we're in this type of wind range. Again, a couple videos of some of our elite guys. Look at Tyson Jones, who was the high school leader in 2018 through 71, eight and three quarters. Let's look at somebody like Darrell Hill or Ryan Krauser. You're gonna notice that, again, that more forward look. Let's look at our discus throwers. We'll look at Airtay Throws Nation thrower, Jason Harrell. You're gonna notice that he's, again, more upright. If you look at somebody like Mason Finley, again, you're gonna notice more upright. If you look at somebody like Andreas Guzdias, very, very vertical, more upright, and you're gonna notice that different position. These are the core differences between the shot and the disc and we want to help you so one of the things you want to check real quick don't be too upright in the rotational shot that usually is going to come with consequences you have to be able to move the implement here around this axis and if you're too hard that's harder to do and you most likely are gonna end up in trouble. If you're looking to learn more about the rotational throws or the glide shop, in our link below, we have a free mini course on each. Just requires name and email. Again, hopefully you found today's video helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and anything you'd like to see, please throw in the comments below, and we'll be sure to get to that in an upcoming YouTube video. And we will see you on the next video.